Lord, I thank you for the day. I thank you for 20 years of, uh, of grace, 20 years of, of your hand on our business and, and keeping us afloat. Thank you for the many people that have helped us through the years, some that are still here, some that are just for a season. Thank you for putting them in our lives and helping us to mold this company to what it is today. Pray that you'd help us to keep sight of our vision, keep us working hard. In Jesus' name I pray. I'd been involved in a, in a in a in a company where Jim and I were workers. Uh, we decided, or I decided, I wanted to do something different and, and left and uh, talked Jim into going into a company that was formed that, that had five or six uh, owners and uh, just felt like that that was probably not where we wanted to be either. So six months later, we jumped off and said, let's just let's just start our own thing and see what we can do. It, it was Eric coming to me and he said, so I'm not staying here. And I said, well, I'm not either. And so let's give it a shot. And again, there was a third person at that time because uh, Eric and I didn't have any, we didn't have anything. Had a credit card and, a, and our prayers, all we had, uh, you know, probably had five grand maybe in the bank i'm not sure i know eric didn't have anything because he just had a had dallas or their, their, their kid and uh <clears throat> he couldn't even afford diapers we was hurting but uh you know we got the old dice and, and threw them out there and away we went well when we started all access coach we started at 898 north water avenue right here in Gallatin, Tennessee, and that's uh, right up the road from where we are now. Uh, Reggie Mudd, who is, uh, owns several pieces of property here in town, was our uh, first landlord. I'll never forget, we went to him and said, uh, here's what we want to do, Reggie. Uh, we want to move in on the 15th of February. We don't want to start paying rent until March the 1st. And on the deposit, uh, we'll pay you $500 a month for six months until we get that deposit paid. And, and that, that's what we want to do. And he said, that sounds like a great deal. And I was like, and then he went, for you? <laughs> and I thought, oh no. Well, he agreed to do it. We, we walked in there and it was just a just a big open warehouse. And we jumped in there and worked almost around the clock, you know, putting an air compressor and getting, getting a shop made, getting shelves put up for parts and just uh, the office built. We have any office and build it, and then and, and a little bathroom in there, and just all that. Warsh, Warsh Bay was on the other side there, and uh, yeah, it was. Uh, when you look back on it, you go, "How how did you ever do it?" But uh, but we did. In the very beginning, it was me and Jim uh, and Matthew Ray uh, was was our was our third guy, and then my mom and dad moved from Texas. My dad came to do parts. You know, we pretty much lived there. Had no mechanics other than Jim. Then we hired a mechanic. Then we hired a wash guy. And then we, you know, just kind of kept, kept blowing and going. We were just going to lease buses and maintain them. Never had a thought of, of having an interior shop doing any of that. Uh, we contracted out our, our new buses when we started building buses, uh, and we contracted out all of the minor or stuff that, that needed to be repaired. But Jim uh, was being a jack of all trades. He did the woodwork stuff. He did the mechanical stuff. He did the painting. But he did everything. So we didn't have a whole lot of need for extra people for that stuff in the beginning. We only had eight buses when we started. Uh, the guys, some guys that uh, helped us get in business owned eight buses, gave them dust to run, and, and that's how basically it started. Well, okay, so we're, we were here in Gallatin at the, at the uh, old location, and um, we were we were outgrowing it. We'd already rented an, an additional 5,000 square feet from Reggie Mudd, and parking was terrible. We were just, we were overrunning his whole uh, facility down there, and there was other renters there. So as you can see, a 45-foot bus takes up a lot of space. We knew it was time for us to find a, a location, and the location that we're at now, 364 North Water Avenue, uh, as strange as this might be, uh, there's a company that started in this town called Music City Coach. It started in the warehouse portion of this building. Out on our wall in our lobby is 
a shop office. It says shop office on the door. Uh, in 2008, when we bought the building, uh, the little shack office, me and Jim shared that office. He had a desk in there and I had a desk in there. So before they started tearing things down, I came in and I took that door off the hinges and kept it. And I propped it up one day in the office. We always do a Monday morning meeting and I talked to our staff about the meaning of that door for me and Jim. Me and Jim walked into that door every day as workers uh, for another company, but we treated that company like we owned it. And so you fast forward, we walked out of that door as owners. We came back years later, bought the building, and that's just our reminder when we walk in every day that it uh, really doesn't matter where you start. You can end up in a lot of bad places if you're willing to work hard and put your foot toward the, toward the fire. You can really do well in life if you just follow your dream. In 2015, we were kind of forced into uh, starting our own interior shop. Never again did we want to, to do that. In the that wasn't in the plans in the beginning, but it's a it's one of the best things we probably did for our company. The the, the next level past buying a building and having an established office was starting an interior shop. We never never dreamed, you know, from from our first from our first build, which which you know was 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 a great build to, till now it's uh yeah it's amazing what what they're doing back there it really is it gives us control of what we build we can say yes to our clients we are not relying on somebody else and in a few short years from 2015 till now we are building the top best interior in the entertainer market i have no doubt to saying that, uh, I've, I've heard it from several of the people in the industry. Uh, I'm proud of what we've built. I'm proud of the guys in our interior shop and the hard work that they do. Everybody here, but that, that uh, especially in a small, short, seven-year span, we're doing things that nobody else in the industry have ever done or, ever, or really have ever thought about doing. And so we're kind of the leaders of that, and, I, and I'm proud of that. Growing up as a kid, um, I, I lived in a small town and always remembered how local businesses would help the community, the schools, the things like that. And uh, I just always felt like that that was an important thing. If I ever got to where I could, I, I wanted to support where I live. And that has become a big part of All Access and, and our community. Uh, Jim and I both are, are heavily involved in, in things here in, in the city, in the county, uh, just a very important part. And it goes, uh, I, I don't know that it's helped us in, in any way get a tour per se, but I do know what it's helped in, in the community. And I, I feel like that if you're gonna live there, work there, you should help support where you live and work. And that's why we do what we do. We love helping any way we can. So we've been blessed and we sure want to want to uh, spread the spread it any way we can. There's a lot of people that said it wouldn't last and hey, you know what? If you looked at it on paper, it probably shouldn't have lasted in the beginning. It was the it was probably the biggest gamble I said a couple of weeks ago in a meeting that we were just too stupid to quit. I don't know I don't know what the next milestone will be. I, you, I don't, you know, don't know where do you go you don't know. from here. Will there be a second generation of of, of uh, blanket chips and Borellis in here? You know, it's possible. Still be still uh, be still, determined. still be determined. Um, but you know, if not, I, I I would say I hope the company continues on for many 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 years, um, especially for the community and the and the and the people. We we've, we've got a lot of, of great employees that that uh, make a living out of here, and uh, we want to continue to do that. And they seem to like it. For most days. Oh most days. <laughs>